Hey everybody, I want to do a quick project share on some altered binder clips. Um, we're also having a binder, altered binder clip swap in the craft hole. Um, the craft hole is a very active group on Facebook, which means the members um, have to be active. They have to want to be part of a group and want to be uh, part of a group atmosphere, which means participating and doing challenges, swaps, commenting on the wall, talking, liking, welcoming new people, all that good stuff that comes with an active group. Group. Now, currently, we are not accepting any new crafters, and that's because I think a success of a group needs to have balance, and since we've been around for a year now, and we've accepted every level of crafter, it's uh, gotten to the point that we've just... Um, taking as many new ones as we can. So we are looking for experienced crafters at the time. So if you are experienced and been crafting for a couple years, give us a holler. We're on Facebook and you can look us up under the craft hole. So now to my altered binder clips. Now this is the first time I've ever done altered binder clips. And I want to show you the very first one that I made. And that's this little beauty which I think it's pretty it's very simple but very pretty and all the metal stuff came from Miriam's crafting supply blog or Miriam's crafting blog and what I'm going to be doing with mine is putting my uh, little my favorite little uh, tags to display so that's what it looks like with the tags and I think that's really really cute so that's the first one the second one I made of course I did a little gothic style and these metal things I also got from Miriam's which I will put a blink <laughs> a link down and I made this little thing by myself this little beaded dangle and of course it's decorated on both sides just like a just like the first one, it's both sides. So, as you can tell, it is completely done. And I think it's so cute. Uh, I really like uh, the kind of gothic, dark colors and styles. So, I hope you all like it. And here's my third one, which I made it a little bit of like a grungy Tim Holtz kind of findings type of deal now it is done on the back as far as the paper and the ticket but there was no way for me to have this hand up there without it looking weird so it is somewhat finished because um, I want at least the paper on the back for like our swaps in case your clip is like this to where you can't put another hand or something else but that's the front of it and the balloon and domino and clock hands and everything all came from Miriam's as well I really like this one. Got a little hemp down here to make it even more like uh, found objects, you know. So that's my set of three because that's what our swap is about. And it's also about putting two, a combo of two things displayed on your clip, which that's what I have displayed on my Tim Holtz grunge one. And then, there's that one. And this one, I just put a AT size, ATC size little card and a uh, little tag in this one as well. So, there you got it, guys. Those are my three altered binder clips. And, like I said, come check us out at the craft hole. We are going to be doing a swap on a set of three binder clips and then one of them only has to have a combo of a tag and ATC or two tags or two ATCs. You don't have to make them for all three but you can if you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and of course enjoyed my project. Bye!